Hello, hello everyone. My name is Nick Jablonski, um, otherwise known as BG Blue Productions on my online platforms. And my goodness, I cannot believe this is happening, but I'm very thrilled and grateful to be considered as one of the most well-known Angry Birds fans in the Angry Birds series. I am 19 years old and I am from Manhattan, New York. Yes, I know I live in the Big Apple, but I like every borough um, the same way. Anyway, the top three things to know about me is that I like mass transit, I like EDM, and of course, Angry Birds is a major passion of mine that I have not let go of. I have overall been extremely obsessed with Angry Birds since 2012 when I first got extremely obsessed with it after playing it on a Kindle Fire, which is something I got for my 10th birthday in 2011. From that point, after the 2011 holiday season, throughout 4th grade, and going heavily into 5th grade, I was nearly talking about Angry Birds non-stop, and I got, I got really obsessed with collecting plushes and other merchandise. I even brought it to school. Sometimes I clip it onto my backpacks, bring plushes to school. Um, but yes, um, I was getting a little too out of hand with the talking about it because I was very nerdy. but. Um, I learned to get out of control, but the words Angry Birds fan, as they were going into me, as it was coming to me when my collection was getting bigger, it came in at the speed of light. And throughout the later years, um, the, the, the obsession has gotten bigger and bigger, even though I have not been so nerdy about it. My YouTube channel is known as BG Lynn Productions. I upload various content based off not only my taste of music, but also Angry Birds content like unboxing videos, gameplays, and collection showcases, and other stuff that I do is vlogs, and that is something I really like to do, combine um, bringing plush toys with me to uh, places like Vermont or Philly or any other really faraway place. It's, it's something I just love to do. It's a great combination of my interests. I first heard about Angry Birds based off a friend of mine from my childhood who um, brought it up to me and was like showing me how it appears on like a gameplay. Again, this is this is pre-Kindle Fire days, but once I got that Kindle Fire and I like flung my first bird or got really addicted to it, I just I couldn't stop. It was so much fun. This is definitely a trick question, but Honestly, what I can say for now is that my most favorite Angry Birds game would have to be Angry Birds 2 because it's um, a, a kind of game where there's like massive expansions towards whatever you're playing on those games in that series, and I find it really cool. I really love those spells, how you like you fling a spell and then it causes like a special effect to the level, and that can really tear down the structures really well. And I just can't, I just can't stop with those spells. They're so cool. What I can definitely say is that um, being being a, a fan of Angry Birds, it's not just um, it's not just that I like it. It's that we are a community of many other people. So we all get to share our interests with each other. We get to talk about how we like to pop pigs and stuff, and we also get to socialize. And that's that's socializing is actually the most important part of whatever interest you're in. quite some friends in the Angry Birds community, but there's like three on my mind that I'm aware of that um, I actually have a close relationship with, well, in terms of like friendship, rather. Um, the only one I know in person is Brandon Panetto, aka Blue Jimmy 48 fan. He is a NASCAR and Angry Birds fan, and he, um, I was his sidekick for his venting machine experience. Well, of course, we both went together. And then also for his Angry Birds mini golf course vlog in American Dream, I was a camera person. There are other friends that I know virtually, um, like Tiffany Fisher Artist. I've been in her series before and I've worked with her on a lot of projects and stuff. And also another really good friend of both me and Tiffany's is Cars Night 95, who is a YouTuber who likes Disney cars and Angry Birds. And we like to have humor moments um, and other fun moments of Angry related content towards chatting with each other, and it's just a lot of fun. It's obviously the blues, or the bluebird, basically. I mean, 
They're so adorable and I can't stop laughing and grinning at them. They're so funny. There are a variety of things I've done as an Angry Birds fan, but one of the most craziest moments I've had most recently would have to be when I was the first customer at American Dream on opening day at the Angry Birds mini golf course. I watched how they put those social distancing floor markers on the ground and I made my first purchases there and I also did my first round of mini golf there. What also happened later that day at American Dream was I met a news reporter named Tony Yates from ABC7 News and I was interviewed and I actually brought up playing mini golf on that forecast and I was like, when I got home later that night and I saw myself on TV, I was just so thrilled and I couldn't believe this is happening. This is like one of the most amazing trips to American Dream I've ever had and it definitely ties down to one of the most craziest moments I've had as an Angry Birds fan because the golf course there, it's just, it's so amazing there. You, you definitely don't want to miss it. From the bottom of my heart to everyone, including Angry Birds and Rovio, I'd like to say thank you for not only being the amazing franchise you are, but the amazing people you are. And I honestly would never have been as much happy as I am now if this moment did not happen. So thank you very much to both Angry Birds and the Angry Birds community for making this moment come true. And feel free to subscribe to not only the BG Blue Productions YouTube channel, but also the official Angry Birds YouTube channel. Feel free to like and comment and turn on notifications so you do not miss a thing. Without further ado, Hope you all stay safe and have a great rest of your day. Be kind to one another and goodbye.